In this file, I've got a whole series of assets, desks, tables and chairs, things that I've used to um, record information about. I've used a record format to record the information, and I've got a record format here called Asset Database. And I've used that to record information about these objects. So for example, that table and chair, while it's a 2D symbol, it also has data attached to it. So it's a table, it's got a model number, a size, and so on. Once I've assigned all that information to an object, I can then create a worksheet that will look for that information and report it for me. Tools on the menu bar, Reports, and Create Report. So here's my report. Let's call it my furniture list. So my furniture list is going to look for objects with a record. What kind of record? Well, let's look for a record called Asset Database. That's the one that I've shown you on my Object Info palette. So what do we want to record? We probably want to record the asset number. We probably want to record the type. Maybe the size. Uh, maybe the model number as well. I could record everything if I wanted to, but I just want to show you how you can be flexible about what information you're going to report. Click OK. And now Vectorworks has created a report of all the objects and it's reported all of the asset numbers of those objects. So there's 20 objects. You can see here that it's 20.2. I'm not sure if these are all in order. If they're not, I can click on that row there, the database row with the diamond on it, and drag that sorting object, that sorting icon there from small to large, so they're now listed in order. So it's reporting them by their asset number, now by their type, I can make that column a little bit wider, uh, model number here, let's make that a bit wider because there's quite a lot of information there. I don't need that column at all so I can delete that column, it's just a right click and delete the column. Now if I create another object, Vectorworks will automatically get it ready for appearing in this list. All I have to do is recalculate it. So let's create another one. We know that we're up to 19, so let's duplicate this object up here. Let's renumber that as number 20. So let's just have a look. We'll recalculate. And number 20 automatically appears in that list. Now this technique of using information attached to objects to create automated reports is really useful. Another place I use this is when I'm doing a drawing list. I can look for information on title blocks. And any time I add a title block, all I have to do is recalculate my drawing list and it will update. It's really cool. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.